One of the main things holding me back from using Assist was the fact that I couldn't use it with my Google Smart Speakers. I play around with it on my phone and on my computer, but that is far from convenient than just having to say OK Google when I need it. So I never actually gave it a fair shot, until now. So today I'm going to show you how to run a fully local voice assistant powered by Assist using any smart camera and speaker you might have. And if you're ready, let's go! To get this working, we are going to use Piper, Whisper, and Open Word. Piper is a text-to-speech system that will allow the assistant to talk back to you with a natural voice. Whisper, on the other hand, is a text-to-speech system that will translate our voice to text so the assistant can understand us. And Open Word is a system that will allow us to create a word that will trigger the assistant. To install it, if you run Home Assistant on a powerful enough server, you can just install the official add-ons using these buttons. For this, just click here, click on Open Link, and click on Install. After it's finished, just click Start. Then repeat the same process for the other two add-ons. And if you want to install it on a different computer to have better performance, you are going to need a Docker installation. For this, just go here, and you can just follow this part of the tutorial. And if you're installing this using WSL on Windows, you can use WSL ports, just follow this part of the tutorial to automate execution and update the ports that we're going to use. Then just copy and execute this command on the Ubuntu terminal. If like me, you already have a Docker Compose file, you can create a new folder then open it and now just paste the code and hit enter and then to run it just copy this command and paste it here this will download and configure Piper, Whisper and Open Word. After it's finished, go back to my website, and now we are going to configure the Wyoming integration. For this, click on the Add an Integration button, click on Open Link, and here, if yours hasn't been auto-discovered, just click on Add Entry, enter the IP address of the computer where you install the system. And now, go back to my website, and here, just copy the ports that we're going to use and then just paste it, and click Submit, and then Finish. Now continue with the rest. Once you're finished, it should look something like this. Now go back to my website, and now we are going to configure the Assistant. For this, just click on this button, click on open link and here we are going to create a new assistant for this just click on add assistant give it a name on conversation agent you can select the one that you prefer I am going to stick with home assistant then on a speech to text select faster whisper scroll down and text to speech we are going to select Piper I am going to change the language and the voice that I want to use. If you want to test it, you can click on Try Voice. Hello, how can I assist? And that's it. Then on Wakeboard, you can select Open Wakeboard. And you can select the Wakeboard that you want to use. I am going to use OK Nabu. And then just click Create. Now, go back to my website. And finally, we are going to install Stream Assist. This custom component created by Alex IT is going to allow us to use any camera and any speaker to power our voice assistant. For this, just click on Open Hacks repository, click on Open Link, then click on Add. And then to install it, click on Download and Download. After it's finished, go to Developer Tools, and we need to restart Home Assistant. For this, click on Restart, 
restart and restart. After it's finished, go back to my website. And now we're going to configure Stream Assist. For this, just click here, click on open link. And here, just click on add entry, enter a name. Then you can either enter a stream URL or select a camera entity. I am going to select the camera and then just click submit and finish. Now go back to my website and now we are going to configure a wakeboard detection beep. This is a sound that is going to be played on the media player when the system gets triggered by the wakeboard. I link the one that I am using on the video on my website. Just click on download and download. Then we just need to rename the file to beep. Now go back to my website and here click on browse media. Click on open link and here click on my media, then click on manage and then click on add media. Then just select the file and click on open. And that's it. Now go back to my website and here just copy this command and then click on the add integration to my home assistant again. Click on open link. And now click on configure. And here in player entity, select the media player where you want to hear the assistant. You can select more than one if you want. Then in stt start media, paste a command from my web. And then in pipeline, select the assistant that we just created. And then just click submit and then finish. Now, if you click on one service and if you turn on the mic and start by saying the wake word, okay, Nabu. If you hear that sound, it means that the wake word has been detected. Turn on the kitchen light. Turn on the light. And that's it. And if you don't have any camera on Home Assistant, I'm going to show you how to test this on any Android phone. For this, on your phone, click on the Google Play Store button. And then click on Install. After it's finished, just open it. First, touch on the gear. And we're going to scroll down till the end. And here in Password, I'm just going to select zero 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 you can select the one that you want and then just click ok now go back and then touch on turn on ip camera server now activate the rtsp server and now go back to my website here scroll down and just copy the rtsp configuration then go up and click on the add integration to my home assistant button again Click on open link. Now we're going to click on add entry. Here just give it a name. And on the stream URL we are going to paste the command. Here you can update the password and the IP address of your device. I'm just going to copy mine from my phone and then just click submit. And then finish. Now click on configure and here select the media player where you want to hear your assistant and stt star media paste the code from my website. And on pipeline select the pipeline that we just created. And then just click submit and finish. Now click on one service and now if you activate the mic you can watch on the screen that the stream is activated. And now if I say the wake word, OK Nabu, change the lamp to green. Color set. OK Nabu, set the lamp to red. Color set. And that's it. This way you can have your own local voice assistant using any smart camera and media player.
you can use this with any conversation integration that you want. So what are you waiting for? If you like my work, please consider joining the channel or becoming a patron, like Flip. And if you can't do that, don't worry. Just remember to share this video with your friends and give it a like. I know that some of you have been wondering why so many AI videos, since this is mostly a smart home channel. To those of you wondering, I'm just going to say, chill, trust the process. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.